Hello, good evening, everyone. Good evening, Miss. How are you? I'm fine. Excellent, good. I'm happy that you're doing fine. Thank you very much for your punctuality, okay? I really appreciate that you're punctual to the class because you know that every minute. So thank you very much for that punctuality. We're gonna start with today's class. And as yesterday, we were practicing the, the indirect questions, right? So today we're gonna start unit four, but today I would like to go with the review of unit uh, four on the platform. So then we can continue with the meter, right? Because we need to finish this week. Remember that, well, this week we only have Thursday and Friday, and then we have only three more classes for next week. So basically we only have five more classes and that's it, we're gonna finish. So only two classes this week and three classes next week and that's it, we finish, right? So uh, it is very important that you're working on the platform that is expected, right? That you're working on the platform. I'm gonna check if everyone is working on the platform. Right? You have to be working at unit four now, section four, right? And that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna do a review. And tomorrow we're gonna do the final exam, okay? The review of the final exam. So on Monday, hopefully everyone has finished the platform, okay? So that's what we're gonna do today. Also, um, besides, right? Aparte de lo que ya hemos, the topics we have been discussing since yesterday, okay? Déjenme, le voy a ayudar aquí a Oscar porque no puede activar el micrófono. Okay, excellent. Very good. So uh, I'm going to start with the attendance right now because every minute is very important and we need to start right now. Okay, so let's go here. Ana Veronica Hernandez Rodriguez. Present. Eh, Angela Guadalupe Hernandez Sanchez. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodríguez. Denise Enrique Saldaña Claros. Present. Eric Enrique Reyes Martínez. Present, Miss. Eric José Reyes Molina. Gerson Alexis Funes Sosa. Jennifer Esmeralda Maya Arias. Johnny Alexander Escobar Calderón. Present, Miss. Jose Alfredo Hueso López. Present, Miss. Jocelyn Angelina Ramírez Melgar. Julio César Aguillón Arevalo. María Julia Ramos Olívar. Good evening, Miss. Eh, no la escucho. No sé si solo yo estoy teniendo ese problema, Miss. Sí, solo Omar. Mayra Patricia Artiga Vázquez. Mónica Wendy Ábalos Girón. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Y está aquí, pero no se escucha. Bueno. O sea, Figueroa Cisneros. Present. Rafael Antonio Hernández Castillo. Rafael Antonio Martínez Navarrete. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. El audio todavía, Ramiro. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Silvia Patricia Saituno Méndez. Walter Vladimir Martínez Rosa. Omar Seth Galicia López. Present Miss. En Amado Javier Urrutia Rivera. Present Miss. ¿Está como oyente, Amado? Sí, Miss, estoy en una reunión. Ok, excelente. Deme un segundo que quiero ayudarle a René. I want to help René. Because he's having problems. 
Let me see. I don't know if it's connecting from a different device today. I want to show him how to connect the audio. Sorry, si le puedo ayudar. Let me see if I can help him. Okay, there we go. Excellent. So we're going to start and uh, now we're going to go with the class, right? Because we already finished here with the attendance. Let's see, yesterday we were practicing uh, reading, right? So today we're gonna continue with that. We're gonna finish and we're gonna answer some questions. That's gonna be it. But before we go with that, let me see if we can go to the platform and we can work on section yeah. four because tomorrow I wanna go, I, I wanna do the, the final exam, okay? So on Monday, everyone has finished the platform, okay? Because remember that we have to finish before we finish classes. And we're gonna be finishing classes on August 23rd, which is next Wednesday, okay? So we have to be done with the platform by that time. Okay, anyways, thank you very much for the one, to the ones that have the cameras on. I really appreciate it. You know that it's very important to have the camera on and I appreciate that, okay? Let's go here. Okay, so here is the platform and this is the section that we're supposed to be working now, which is section four. Last, um, I don't know, but we finished section three already. So we're gonna go with this one, okay? This first one says, consequence or damage that is so serious that it's impossible to undo. What is risk, exposure, safety measure, irreversible damage, precautionary? What do you think it is the correct part? Damage. What do you think it is? Irreversible damage. Correct. Irreversible damage. Next. Aim to protect someone or something from a hazardous situation. To protect. Protectionary. Mm, you sure? And safety, safety measure. measure. Safety measure, yes. Now this one says prevent, look, procedure to prevent something dangerous from happening. What is that gonna be? Is the last precautionary? No. Precautionary, yes, precautionary. Likelihood to of harm in a specific circumstances. Harm. Likelihood. Posibilidad. Teacher, uh, the number both two is both. and number three is a, a change. It's opposite? Yeah. Both. both. Let's see, four. What do you think it is? Uh, I think it's four. Right. <laughs> Uh -oh. Right, no, right. <laughs> uh, I have a question, Miss. Yeah. What is the meaning likelihood? Like uh possibilidad de okay. Uh, Thank risk, you. Risk, risk. Risk? 
And this one will be sposher then. Let's see if you're correct. Excellent, good job. Let's see, irreversible damage, precautionary, measure, or safety measure, <laughs> risk and exposure. Let's go with the next one. I have finished the job. The job, in this case, will be, has been finished by me, okay? Va a ser, eh, esto es voz pasiva del presente perfecto. Ya se van a dar cuenta. I have finished the job. The job has been finished by me. The cat has drunk the milk. The milk has been drunk, drunk. by the cat, right? Number three, the girls have plucked the flowers. The flowers have been, have through, been through. plucked. Have been plucked. I have watched that movie. That movie has been, has been watched, watched by me. <clears throat> Peter has broken another window. Another window has been broken. Has been broken by Peter. Okay, good. Let's see again. Number one has been finished number two has been drunk number three have been plucked four has been watched and five has been broken let's do the next one it says read the following conversa conversation between employees and a manufacturing plant then answer the questions below. So I'm guessing this conversation, we're gonna have it here. But let's see. G, have my safety go goggles. Goggles son como esos lentes de protección, verdad? G, have my se safety goggles been stolen? I don't see him any see them anywhere. Your goggles have been taken away. There are new safety measures in this plant. You've got to be kidding. What are those measures about? You are required to wear ear protection, gloves, reflective vest, protection belt, helmet, jacket, rubber boots, earplugs, store tools in proper location. So my goggle and the other tools I left around here have been taken away? Yes, the new safety plan has been designed to prohibit scattered tools outside the tool room. Let's see, let's answer. What is the item is your is you're looking for? Safety goggles or equipment? Safety goggles. Safety goggles. What is the new safety measure about? Innovation or the new safety measure employees wear safety gear? Number one or two? Innovation. You sure? Oh, no, number two. The new safety measure. Examples of Equipment in air construction. Choose hats, gloves, rubber boots, reflective vest, and helmet. What is the correct? Rubber boots, reflective vests, and helmet. Okay, rubber boots. Okay, what? what's the purpose of the safety plan? Mm. To prohibit scatter tools or to prohibit employees? from taking to home. Number one or two? Two, uh, one. One. Number one. Let's see. Correct. Let's see. Safety gog goggles, the new safety measure will have employees wear safety gear and store tools in proper locations. Rubber boots, reflective vest, helmet. To prohibit scattered tools outside the tool room, okay? 
Next. Read the text below and identify the passive voice sentences. Okay, let's see if you can identify them. If you cannot, we're gonna see. Many tools have been left. You see, this one is one. Many tools have been left disorganized all over some working areas. It seems like the safety manager has not been informed about the new safety measure. I wonder if he has been interested in doing his job lately. Hopefully, the new employees have been taught to follow the rules by the book. Have been disorganized, had disorganized or disorganized? One, two or three. What is a passive voice? Que tenga los tres elementos de una passive Number voice. Two. Number two, have been disorganized. Number two, one, two, three. Had not been informed, has not been, been informed. Not been informed. Has not been informed. Interested, been interested, have been interested. Has been interested. Has been interested. Been taught, have been taught, taught. <laughs> have been taught. Excellent. Yo espero que ustedes vayan haciendo esto conmigo si no lo han hecho ya, ¿verdad? I hope that you're doing this. If you haven't, you have to. Have been, number one is have been disorganized. Number two is has not been informed. Number three is has been interested. And number four is have been taught. Remember, today I'm going to check this grace and tomorrow we're going to do the final exam. Select the best option. I have written six letters. Six letters. Have reading, have been reading, has been reading. Have been reading. Have been reading, good job. Okay, so it seems like passive voice no le va a costar. Have you received the parcel? Has the parcel been received by you? Have the parcel or have the parcel received? Have the parcel received. Yes. Have they accepted the innovation? Has the innovation accepted or been accepted? Been accepted. Been accepted, excellent. I have known her for a long time. She has known, has been known, is known. Has been known. Has been known for a long time. Our team has won the championship. The championship has won, has been won, or have been won? Has been won. Has been won. Has been won. Okay, let's see. Number one is have been written. Number two is has the parcel been received? Number three is been accepted. Number four is has been known. And number five is has been won. Okay. And that's it. So with that, we're supposed to be finishing section four, okay? Tomorrow, we're going to do the final exam review, okay? So that means that by Monday, everyone in this class should have finished the platform, okay? Monday, completed. Because on Wednesday, we're gonna do the survey and then Bye-bye, we finished, okay? And remember, you guys, siempre tomo un momento para recordarles que este es el peor momento para retirarse del inglés, ¿sí? Yes? Es como que usted esté a punto de llegar a su destino y diga, no, mejor me voy a devolver a la casa. Right? It's like, you're this close. Miren, yo les prometo, el último año de inglés, el, yo ya me iba a graduar y me preguntaban, hija, ¿sabes inglés? Y yo, no, no. Pero mire, de repente es como que boom, cae todo. And we can, we can speak English. But remember, es el peor. La peor decisión que usted va a tomar ahorita es decir, no, no, ya no voy a seguir y no sé qué. Dentro de unos meses usted va a querer volver a in intentar estudiar inglés. Y sabe que va a volver al intermedio 3. ¿Cree usted que va a volver al intermedio 3? Digamos que de aquí a seis meses usted quiere volver a estudiar inglés. 
cree que se va a volver a inscribir en el intermedio 3? Al principiante 3 lo vamos. Ah, exactly, Sandra, exactly, exactly. So, el peor momento para retirarse es hoy. Y el peor, peor momento es en el siguiente módulo. <ríe> Porque mientras más vamos avanzando, el hecho de que usted se quiera retirar va, va a afectarle más, nos va a afectar más, right? Because now you know more English than at the beginning. Y el inglés se olvida fácilmente. Yes, it's easy to forget. Muy fácil de olvidar. Yes, si no, aquí tal vez habrán personas que han intentado una, una, dos, tres, cuatro, y después vienen, y después se van, y vuelven, y así intermitentes, ¿verdad? But the thing is this, si ya estamos cerquita, tenemos nuestro diploma de avanzado, y luego solo nos quedamos practicando, ¿ok? Solo practicar, that's it. Solo para recordar cómo es el English. That's just to remind me of that. But then, no se vayan a retirar. Están así de cerca, miren. No saben cuánto me dolería aquí en este corazoncito bilingüe que ustedes se vayan, ¿ok? Porque no es que a mí me vayan, yo realmente este módulo me lo han dado demasiado a mí. Nunca me habían dado un módulo tantas veces, tantos estudiantes que vengan de conmigo desde el principio, ¿de qué? ¿Desde qué están conmigo? Desde el principiante, ¿verdad? Principiante algo. Ya, yeah. hemos estado juntos un montón de tiempo. No les digo porque me vuelvan a dar el grupo a mí, no. Hay un montón de grupos que van empezando, ¿ya? ¿Sí? Así que me pueden volver a dar otro. Mi propósito es que usted hable inglés. Yes, you. You, you speak English. Así que no se retire. This is not the moment. Okay? That's not. And I'm telling you this because we're about to finish. We're about to finish this module. And it will be really sad if you decide not to continue. That will be not a good idea, actually. Okay? So, let's see. We're going to review the reading we were doing yesterday. Okay? We're going to review that reading. Remember pronunciation and then intonation. There are three important factors businesses need to consider when pricing a product. The cost of production, the market demand for the product, and the desired markup by the business. The cost of production. Fix a variable cost determine the selling price of a business firm's product. Fixed, oh, fixed costs include items such as the rent for your office or manufacturing space. Variable costs include items that change with your sales volume, like labor and materials. In pricing your product, First, determine how much of your fixed and variable cost go into producing each unit of your product. Although it may be a difficult calculation, a simple formula to help you is to add your total fixed cost to your total variable cost. Then you divide the total for your estimated total sales. You will have then your cost of production per unit. Now, you have to sell the product for at least this amount in order to cover the cost of production. Market demand for a product or service. Market demand for a product or service is the second factor that a business owner should consider when pricing a product. The law of demand is that there is an inverse relationship between demand and price. As price fall, demand rises. And as price rise, demand falls. Demand for your product is just as important to consider when setting a price as the cost of production. There is usually a positive or direct relationship between consum consumer income and demand. As a consumer's income goes up, so does demand for a product. Determining the markup of a product. Regardless of the type of small business, markup is the amount you add to the cost of your product. To determine the selling price, the markup percentage is determined 
by the amount of your plant profit, the type of the product or service you're selling, how rapidly the product sells, and the amount of service performed perform by seller. You have this, tienen esto, and you have the audio in the WhatsApp group, right? We're going to practice one more time. Remember, ustedes lo van a hacer más así perfecto de lo que yo lo acabo de hacer. Ustedes nativo le pasa a Yes? Yes? Pónganse aquí el gol, porque por lo menos si lo ponemos aquí, si el gol es aquí, yo llego por lo menos aquí, más o menos me acerqué, right? Excellent. Angela, welcome. Nice to see you here again. We missed you. Good night, Miss. <laughs> Good evening. Welcome. How are you doing? Um, I'm really good. Okay, excellent. Good to have you here. Glad to have you here, Angela. Okay, let's see. Okay, I feel glad me too, Miss, <laughs> to see you again. Excellent. That's good. Okay, remember, we're going to practice, and the, or, uh, the purpose to practice this is to acquire vocabulary and to improve intonation. Remember, intonation is one of the most important things that we're going to be practicing in this moment, okay? There we go. Let's go, let's go. You have the invites. Let's go to the breaker rooms. Oscar, Javier, Jennifer, Blanca, Julio, Ramiro, Sandra. Miss, no sé cómo entrar. Y cuando estuvo en el teléfono, Miss. Va, espérame, espérame. No, ya, 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 ya. Lo voy a mover a la sala 3. Ahí vamos. Let's go. Ahí le va a caer. Unirse a una sala. Ah, ok. Es que como dice que no ha conectado todavía el, el, oh, okay. el modem. Entonces, no tenían instalado el, el, el zoom en mi teléfono. Pero ahí Ajá, creo que a dar Vamos a ver, dice unirse ahora. Ok. Yes. Y no, no podía escucharlo. Vamos a ver. Ahí estamos, excelente.
¿Cómo les ayudo? How can I help you? Uh, uh, we don't have the screen uh, for, for reading, Miss. May you can help, please. Yes, it's on WhatsApp. It's on WhatsApp, lo vieron. Ahí en el grupo de WhatsApp lo mandé, pero si no, ahorita se los paso. Which one? Miss, eh, I don't see on WhatsApp. No, me too, I don't see. Ya se lo voy a mandar. Please. Se lo voy a citar, se lo voy a citar. Se lo voy a citar. Okay. Oh, I see, I see. Thank okay. you, Miss. You're welcome. Oh, my God. Okay. Hola, hola, ya volví. Había perdido conexión, partners. Ok, ahí le envié la invitación para el grupo. Ah, uh, ok. Thank ah, you. This... Lo voy a mandar ahí. Excellent. Yes. Excellent. Thank you.
clothes. You will have then your cost of production per unit. Now you have to sell the product for at least this amount in order to cover the cost of production. Okay. Market demand for a product or service. Market demand for a product or service is the second factor that a business owner should consider when pricing a product. The law of demand is that there is an inverse relationship between demand and price. As price falls, demand rises, and as price rises, demand falls. Demand for your product is just, is just as important to consider when setting up. Thank you, Miss. Okay, uh, Veronica, you can start again. Eh, eh, si quieres empezar tú otra vez, yo termino. No problem. Okay, there are three important factors business need to consider when pricing a product. The cost of production, the market demand for the product and desired markup by the business. The cost of production, fixed and variable cost determine the selling price of a business. calculation at your sample formula to help you into how your total fix cost to your total variable cost then you divide, divide the total by your estimated total sales, you will have then your cost of production per unit. Now, you have to sell the product for at least this amount in order to cover the cost of production market demand for of product or service. Mark demand, demand for a product a uh, service is the second factor that a business owner should consider when pricing a product. The law of demand is that there is an inverse relation, relationships between Fall and prices aim as prices rise, demand falls. Demand for your product is just as important to consider when setting a price of the cost of production. That is usually a positive or direct relation.
Oh, welcome back. So we're going to do the reading in this moment. I'm going to choose some participants to start reading and you're going to read uh, donde yo marque, okay? What I have pointed. Let's start with Blanca. There are three important factors business need to consider when pricing a product. The cost of production, the market demand for the product, and the desired markup by the business. Okay, excellent, Blanca. Good job. Solo vamos a repetir esta palabra, please. Pricing. Pricing. Excellent, good job. Thank you. Let's continue now with Oscar René. Solo donde yo marque. Ya voy a marcar. Uh, Aquí, hasta ahí. Está apagado el audio. Your microphone. Sorry. The cost of production fixes in variable cost determinate the selling price of the business. Firm product Fixed cost include items such, such as the rent for your office or manufacturing space. Variable cost include items that change with your sales, sales volume, volume like labor and material in person and pricing. Your products first determine how much of your fixes and variable. variable cost go into producing each unit of your products. Excellent. Sorry, que no. en el teléfono, en el teléfono me toca estar siguiendo la, ¿cómo se llama? La toca hacer las grandes y después pequeñas. Oh, okay. Care, 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 care. Vamos solo a repetir algunas, okay? Fixed. 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 Yeah. Fixed. Volume. Volume. Pricing. Pricing. Excellent. Thank you. Let's go now with Maria Julia. Although it may be a difficult calculator to help you is to have your total fixed cost to your total variable cost. Then you divide the total by your estimated total sales. You will have then your cost of production per, per unit. Now, you have to sell the product, the product for at least this amount in order to cover the cost of production. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Let's see. I'm just going to go with some corrections. Uh, repeat calculation. 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 Formula. Formula. Fixed. Fixed. Production. Production. Amount. Amount. Production. Production. Excellent. Good job. Jose Alfredo, we go with you now. Jose Alfredo is going to read this. No, pero okay. hasta aquí. Solo esto. Ahí. Okay, miss. Market demand for a product or service. Market demand for a product or service is the second factor that a business owner should consider when pricing the product. The law of the demand is that there is a inverse relationship between demand and price. As price fall, demand rise, and, and as price rise, demand falls. Jose Alfredo, wow, excellent pronunciation. Good job. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 
Oh my God, that was a really good pronunciation, Jose Alfredo. Good job. Vamos avanzando. Hasta le cambió la voz. Wow, yeah, I like it. Excellent, good job. Bien. Excellent. Let's go now with... Sandra, you there? Okay. Ya le, ya le marco, ya le marco, ya le marco. Va a ser ahí, ok. Ok. Demand for the product is just as important to consider when setting a price, a price as the cost of production. There is actually a positive or direct relationship with the consumer income and demand. As a consumer's income goes up, so does demand for the pro for a product. Good job, Sandra, too. My God, good pronunciation. I'm impressed. Good job. <laughs> thank you. Solo thank fueron you. dos pequeños errorcitos, pero muy pequeños. Direct. Okay, direct. Direct. Between. 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 Excellent. Yes, good job. Thank good you. Job. Excellent. Yes, I'm happy. Let's see. Angela, can you read the last part, please? Okay, uh, determ determining the markup of a product, regardless, regardless of, of the type of a small business markup is the amount you add the cost of your, I'm sorry, of your product to determining, to determine the selling price. The markup percentage is determined by the amount of your planet profit, the type of the product or service you are selling, how rapidly the product sells, and the amount of service performed by the seller. Excellent, good job, good job, good job. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, you did a good job. Solo tendríamos este, the only thing is, un segundito, solo son unas pero pequeñitas pronunciations. Determined, Determined. Planned. Planned. Yes. He performed. Performed. Yes. Good okay. job. Excellent. You see, you guys, this is why I'm telling you the worst idea. Lo peor que se les puede ocurrir es decir ahorita, ¿saben qué? Ya no voy a continuar. ¿Por qué? Porque ahorita empezamos a ver el progreso. ¿No lo ven ustedes? Es ahorita. Es ahorita donde empiezan a ver un poquito más el progreso. Y más adelante se van a dar cuenta más todavía. Yo les digo, yo iba cuarto año en la universidad. Yo dije, ya no quiero. Voy a sacar cero en todos los parciales. Y ya. Y me dijeron, pero si te sacas buenas notas, te vas a ir para Estados Unidos. Y yo, bueno, no, vamos a sacarnos buenas notas. <ríe> so, that, that I had a motivation. I had a motivation. Pero miren, sí, muy bien. Muy bien, especialmente voy a resaltar a José Alfredo y Sandra, que yo sé que también les ha costado un poco más, pero en este día me han dejado, miren. Good job. Gracias, Miss. No yes. Yes. El poder de la, el poder de la beer. El poder yes. de la beer, oigan, yes. José Alfredo, yes. my goodness. Mira qué está diciendo. Yes, bueno, let's go. So we're going to continue. We're doing good. Let's, I'm happy. I hope you're happy because I'm okay, uh, very happy. So based on the reading that we just read, we're going to answer these five questions. The answers to these five questions, they are going to be in the reading, okay? So you're going to answer these questions using the reading we just read, okay? Uh, let's see. Let me see. This is a good group. Tengo muchos oyentes, voy a mover algunos para. Let's see, let's see. Okay, ahí vamos. Let's go. <coughs> Wanna send you the invites now. So you can join the rooms. There you go.
Johnny, what happened? Miss, eh, no se podía, no había nadie que compartiera y no estábamos trabajando para hacer eso. ¿Qué sala era? No me acuerdo. Con K ya me acordé, está en la 1, ok. Voy a ir a ver eso. Sí, es el que entra ya. Y pregúntele. Sí, sí, este, eh, sí, sí, como no, no he trabajado en esa tecnología, pero, pero ahí por lo que se ve que esa cajita transforma, ¿verdad? La, como tú dijera, sí. hace una serie de transmisión, transformación, eh, para que te trabaje, para que el aparato pueda recibir la señal a través de esa fibra ya te lo pase también a, a que es el cable, la telefonía y los servicios que tengas uh -huh. es lo que más o menos entiendo yo de esa
Okay, welcome back. Let's see the answers. Okay, ans question number one. I'm gonna ask it to Johnny. Johnny, what are the most important factors to consider to, to consider when setting a price for a product? Johnny here. Hello, Miss, I'm sorry. The question number one, Johnny, what are the most important factors to consider when setting the price for a product? Lo que lo pusieron con los compañeros es the cost of production, market demand for a product or service, and determining the markup of the product. Excellent, good job. Johnny, choose the next participant and ask the question to the Okay. Eric Reyes. Okay, Eric Reyes. Oh, Ask the question. Okay, the second, the second were the rent and the materials. No, but Johnny, ask the question. Oh, what are some example fixed? Oh, no, sorry, sorry. What are some example of fixed the cost? Okay, the rent of the office and the materials. Excellent, thank you very much. Eric, choose the next participant and ask question number three, please. Okay, let me see. And Angela. Okay, ask the question, Eric. Okay, the third is what are examples of variable costs? I'm sorry, teacher, I was eating. Can you put the, the power? What are examples of variable costs? Yes. Mm. Okay, variable costs include items, Items. Items, I'm sorry, that change with your with your sales vol volume, like labor and materials. Excellent, thank you. Um, Angela, can you ask the question number four to another participant? Okay. How does market demand affect the, pr the pricing of your product? Uh, I'm gonna choose um, Blanca. Okay. Blanca? The answer is uh, number four. How do uh, as prices fall, demand rise and as price rise, demand falls. Uh, okay. Demand for your product. I use I. I is important to consider when setting a price as the cost of production. Excellent, good job, Blanca, thank you very much. Blanca, ask the question number five and choose another participant, please. What variables influence to determine the markup percentage uh, to Oseas? Okay, Oseas, question number, uh, answer number five, please. Okay, okay, give me a second. And number five is uh, the amount of your plant profit, uh, the type of your product or service you are selling, how rapidly the product sells, and the amount of the service performed by the seller. Excellent, good job. Thank you very much, you guys. You did a good job there. Excellent. So let's answer this question now. Now, in this question, we have uh, some new terms or maybe new meanings for you. And the first question, please, can you read the first question, Dennis? How do you ever uh, hear the terms, terms read? Terms read assessment. Okay, repeat, heard. Here. Okay, thank you. So it says, have you ever heard the term risk assessment? 
right? So this is the term. I'm asking you if you have ever heard that. If you haven't, we are going to investigate. We're gonna look it up, okay? Let's go with question number two. Can you please help me with that question, Rafael Martinez? Only read the second? Yes, just read the question. What do you do? What do you think it means? Excellent, thank you very much. What do you think it means? So what do you think this is the meaning of this? Okay, let's go with Jennifer Amaya. Can you please read the question number three, Jennifer? Okay. Why should organizations design and be trained to apply one? Excellent, good job, thank you very much. So we're gonna go to the breaker rooms to answer these questions, okay? But you can look it up on the internet. You can look at uh, the, the meaning of this term and then you answer the other two questions, okay? So do you understand the activity we're doing in this moment? Yes or no? Yes, Mimi. Yes. Assessment uh, in español. That's what you're gonna look it up on the internet right now. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Okay, please. Okay, it's okay. Okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. This group, me parece o no me parece. Do I like it or do I like it? I'm gonna change something here. And there we go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, you have the invites.
Excuse me. Excuse me, what is us? Conato. Conato es eh, que no, no se, el diseño no se desarrolla, solo se inicia. No, pero solo se inicia. Exacto. Y se controla. El conato de incendio es que oh. inicia el incendio, pero se controla. Los conatos los puede eh, resolver con un extintor. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Un incendio es el bomberman. En your company, Johnny. Eh... Oh, yeah. Uh, in my company, I think uh, yes, I, we have, but no participate in this. Brigada. Uh, uh, in in Brigada de Riesgo. Yeah, don't participate. Oh, okay. Okay. Like, I can use the extinctor. At, prevenir riesgo. Es una similar evaluación for safety in the, in the, in the world. Yeah. I think it's uh, relacionated uh, uh, to the investment. When you have a project and you are going to, in, to invest, invertir. Mm -hmm. The step that I need to follow in every case, for example, in, in accidents, car accidents, or we if we have a, a fire on the house, on, on house, and
Hello, welcome back. So I'm gonna ask these questions to some participants. So the question number one, I'm gonna ask Osea, have you ever heard the term risk assessment? Yes, I have. And what do you think it means, Osea? Uh, I think is uh, we are talking about the all the hazards in the job, mm -hmm. and that we have to make uh, assessment risk to prevent that, uh, to prevent accidents. Okay, good, good, excellent, good job. Um, ask the last question and choose the participant, please, Oseas. Okay. Why should organization design and be trained to apply one? Uh, Jose Alfredo. Okay, Jose Alfredo. Uh... Uh, question two? No, the last question, this one. Ah. Ah. Uh, I think... ¿Cómo? 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 ¿Cómo puedo hacer? ¿Por qué piensa que las organizaciones deberían aplicar un uh, risk assessment? Sí, ya había... Había... ¿Cómo? Okay. Uh, I, I, I think I I I think uh, the, the the company or or, or organization uh, carry out a, a study uh, to find or how much the loss. Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you, Jose Alfredo. Yes, organizations, uh, remember, so hazards are the dangers we have in a job, right? It's a synonym to danger. And the risk assessment plan is going to help you evaluate the risk you can have and to help you prevent, right? And not only prevent, to tell you what to do in the case you have a, a dangerous situation in your workplace. For example, an assessment prevention can be what to do in a fire alarm, right? What to do in a fire alarm or what to do in an earthquake, right? That those are very common here in El Salvador. Okay, let's continue now. And now we have a short conversation. It's not a difficult conversation. Let me show you. And we're going to be introducing, introduced to the pace, passive voice, passive voice, okay? La voz pasiva. Mañana vamos a ver ese tema gramatical, okay? So I'm going to read this conversation. Uh, the first, I'm going to read it slowly for pronunciation. Then I'm going to read it for intonation. And if you have questions, you can ask me. Let me see. Okay, here. Let me check. If the list of hazards and safety measures is complete, measures for electric shocks, for electric burn, yeah, it is. Have you finished the first draft for the office safety plan yet? Already, Marcos. Now I'll work on the plan for reporting hazards and incidents. Great. I'll work on some ideas on controlling risks because we haven't made much progress on that. All right, then I'll work on establishing the incident probabilities, the potential severity, risk value, and risk level. That sounds good. We want to have everything ready by the end of the week. Yes? Good? Okay. So, okay. do you have questions or I can go with pronunciation? Do you have questions about meanings or about pronunciation? Hazard. Hazard. 
Hazard, yes. Hazards. Do you want me to, the, to say the meaning or the pronunciation? Meaning? Meaning is synonym to danger. Okay, peligroso. Yeah. Es como un sinónimo. Yeah, correct. Good Hazard. job, Sandra. Good job, Sandra. Oh my God, Sandra. Okay. Okay, good. Another one? Controlling, miss. Can you repeat that, Jose? Uh, uh, Marcos, go on. Control, controlling, oh, controlling, controlling. Ah, controlling. controlling. Controlling, yeah. Controlling, okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Ah, otra. Eh, oh, Josué, está establishing. 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 Oh, oh establish. Ah, establishing. Establishing. And the next question, severity. Severity? Okay, severity. severity. No, severity, severity is correct. Yes, severity is correct. Severity. Do you want the pronunciation or the meaning? Mm, pronunciation. Okay, severity. Okay, if you don't have questions, I'm gonna go with intonation, let's go. Let me check the list of hazards and safety measures is complete. Measures for electric chocks, for electric born, yeah, it is. Have you finished the first draft for the office safety plan yet? Already, Marcos. Now I'll work on the plan for reporting hazards and incidents, great. I'll work on some ideas on controlling risks because we haven't made much progress on that. All right, then I'll work on establishing the incident probabilities and the potential severity, risk value and risk level. That sounds good. We want to have everything ready by the end of the week. I'm gonna send you un audio de la conversación completa y luego audio individual por cada intervención para que vean que quiero que you improve pronunciation. Let me check if the list of hazards and safety measures is complete. Measures for electric shocks, for electric burn, yeah, it is. Have you finished the first draft for the office safety plan yet? Already, Marcos, now, I'll work on the plan for reporting hazards and incidents. Great. I'll work on some ideas on controlling risks because we haven't made much progress on that. All right. Then I'll work on establishing the incident probabilities, the potential severity, risk value, and risk level. That sounds good. We want to have everything ready by the end of the week. <clears throat> Let me check if the list of hazards and safety measures is complete. Measures for electric shocks, for electric burn? Yeah, it is. Have you finished the first draft for the office safety plan yet? Already, Marcos. Now I'll work on the plan for reporting hazards and incidents. Great. I'll work on some ideas on controlling risks because we have made much, we haven't this. Great, I'll work on some ideas on controlling risks because we haven't made much progress on that. All right, then I'll work on establishing the incident probabilities, the potential severity, risk value, and risk label, maybe okay, como blue label, you guys. All right, then I'll work on establishing the incidence probabilities, the potential severity, risk value, and risk level. That sounds good. We want to have everything ready by the end of the week. Okay, now we're going to practice the conversation. Remember, you guys, please practice intonation. It is it is very important for you to practice intonation, okay? Okay. 
Let's go. Si el grupo no trabaja, me dicen.
Ok. Ok. I'm Miss Jose. Josué. Ok. And Marco. Let me check if the list uh, has of the casa and the safety uh, measures is completed. Uh, measure for electric shock, for electric power. <clears throat> yeah, it is. How do you finish the first uh, draft for the office safety plan yet?
we want to go to Mimir. Do you want to sleep? Because I want to sleep. Mm. It's late. A mí me pasa que cuando estoy en la clase me da un sueñito así bien, como que, ay, ya es hora. Pero nada más termino la clase, you guys. Bye, bye. Después me da insomnio. Okay, so we finished. Um, we're going to practice the pronunciation of the conversation tomorrow because I know it's late mm -hmm. and we want to go to Mimir. Of course, we want to go to Mimir. I'm the first one who wants to go there. Okay, so um, let's go. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez, porque al inicio no había muchos. Ángela Guadalupe Hernández Sánchez. Presence. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodríguez. Presence. Denise Enrique Saldaña Claros. Present. Eric Enrique Reyes Martínez. Present, Miss. Eric José Reyes Molina. Present, Miss. Gerson Alexis Funes Sosa. Eh, Jennifer Esmeralda Maya Arias. Present, Miss. Johnny, Esco Johnny Alexander Escobar Calderón. Here, Miss. José Alfredo Hueso López. Present, Miss. Jocelyn Angelina Ramírez Melgar. Julio César Aguillón Arevalo. Maestro Rochi. María Julia Ramos Olívar. Present, Miss. Eh, Mayra Patricia Artiga Vázquez. <coughs> Mónica Wendy Ábalos Girón. Present. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Present. José Figueroa Cisneros. Present, Miss. Rafael Antonio Hernández Castillo. Present, Miss. Rafael Antonio Martínez Navarrete. Present, Miss. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. I'm here, Miss. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Omar Seth Galicia López. Present, Miss. En Amado Javier Rutia Rivera. Present, okay. That will be it for today, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay, remember tomorrow we're going to review the final exam, okay? Okay. Uh, bye, have a good yes. night. Bye. Take care. Bye. 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 Bye.